Hi, it's Mike at 18 Reasons. Uh, this week I'd love to talk to you a little bit about eggs. Um, so, uh, we, I am very lucky. My wife raises chickens in her backyard, so we have an abundance of fresh eggs available at all times. Um, but eggs of different age have different purposes in the kitchen. So a really, really fresh egg, like this egg was in a chicken yesterday, um, this would make a great poached egg. It makes a great fried egg. The yolk sits up high and proud. The egg white stays very close to the yolk um, and is thick and delicious. An older egg um, is better for meringues or hard boiled egg. As an egg ages, the shell absorbs oxygen and creates an egg, an air pocket at the top of the egg. So when you hard boil an older egg, it's much easier to peel because that air pocket leaves a space between the shell and the egg. And if you're making meringues, an older egg white holds more air and so makes for loftier and better meringues. You can tell the difference pretty simply. You take an egg and you drop it into the water. If it sinks immediately and lies horizontally at the bottom of the glass, that's a very fresh egg. There's no air pocket in there holding one end up. An older egg will maybe even float and definitely sink with one end raised as the air pocket holds one end of the egg off of the bottom of the glass. So that's how you tell the difference. Uh, there isn't a real difference between a brown egg and a white egg. It just depends on the breed of the chicken. Um, but we store our eggs fresh from our backyard at room temperature. When a chicken lays an egg, it puts a natural coating on the outside of the egg. It's called a cuticle. And that cuticle prevents bacteria from entering the inside of the egg, the part that we eat. But in the United States, eggs that are sold commercially are typically washed. And there's good reason. Chickens are ugly filthy birds, and uh, so we wash our eggs in the United States. Once you wash an egg, it removes the cuticle from the outside. So in the United States, commercial eggs have to be refrigerated because the cuticle has been removed. If you get eggs from your backyard, we don't remo remove our cuticle, we store our eggs at room temperature. Um, we also hard boil a lot of eggs in this house. It's a great snack, low calorie, high protein, but very frustrating in the morning. If you grab a hard boiled egg and attempt to fry it, everything is ruined. So there's an easy way to tell the difference between a fresh egg and one that is cooked. If you take an egg and it spins rapidly and well, you know that egg has been cooked. An egg that is raw doesn't spin because it the egg yolk moves back and forth and ends the spinning of the egg. So if you are really easily able to spin an egg and it revolves rapidly, you know that egg has been cooked. It's hard boiled, it's ready for some salt and a snack. Last but not least, kind of on the topic of eggs. I've mentioned in previous uh, Mondays with Mike, there's a way of telling the sex of an eggplant, but I didn't have actual examples for that video. So when purchasing an eggplant, you're looking for as few seeds as possible. Um, the seeds tend to be where a lot of the bitterness for in an eggplant hangs out. So what you're looking for when you're shopping for an eggplant is a round circle at the end, a dot. That's a male eggplant fruit and it has less seeds. If the place at the end is a slot, a vertical line, that's a female fruit. This will be full of seeds and not as good a value. So a quick way of typing eggplants little discussion about eggs. Um, this is Mike at 18 Reasons. Let's cook together.